over here and we're going to generate a cutting program on CompuCut and we're going to transfer the basic cutting program from the computer into the cutter. Now the computer is actually just hooked up via an ethernet cable so the computer can be networked up anywhere in the factory you so wish so we happen to be very very close to the cutter. So to generate the cutting program we should first of all bring up a basic straight sheet. We will call this Indigo 1 and the lay mark we want to be on the right hand side because I'm right handed. The size of the sheet is 450 by 320, we're running SRA3. We will cut out an A5 flyer out of the sheet. That size will be 210 by 148.5. We want to center it in the x-axis and center it in the y-axis, so it's actually in the center of the sheet. And we want to do, for example, let's do a five mil trim out on the x and on the y-axis. They can be fully adjusted to any measurement you so wish. So having generated the layout, we now need to generate the cutting program, the order of the cuts we wish to proceed in. So we go to the cutting generation program. So on the first cut, it's actually asking us, do we want to do this cut and the other two ones, all four cuts there with the lines. We don't want to do that. We just want to do a single cut in the X axis. And then we want to rotate the job through 90 degrees and do a single cut in the Y axis. We rotate it another 90 degrees. Basically, I'm cutting around all of the outside of the job. So there you can see the whole cutting program has been generated. So the sequence of cuts. We're happy with that. We hit OK. And then we go to, we need now to transfer the program from CompuCut on the PC into the cutter. So we go to the program generation. There is the job. And we need to send that one job to the cutter. So that's now being sent directly through to the cutter. And if you update the cutter, you'll see that job is now transferred into the actual cutting memory. The main menu on the cutter, the next program down is the actual program directory and you can now see that the job was transferred from the PC directly into the cutter memory. Here we have generated a barcode simply in Word. This can either be printed on the job itself or generally on the job ticket. So in, to recall this barcode that has to match the name of the job memory stored in the computer. So you go to the cutter Highlight by the barcode function, barcode reader, and you can scan the barcode, and the job is then automatically recalled into the job memory on the cutter. Generated the job in CompuCut, we get the full graphics now on the display of the cutter, and it's already at the very, very first cut line. So if we load the paper in, if we're not happy with that measurement, if it doesn't line up with the tick line, you can manually adjust that so it matches up to your tick line. And then if you save that new measurement, that will then go into the job memory. If you don't want to save that, it doesn't go into the job memory. So then you make the cut. And then it will automatically go on to the next move. And this is the first cut on the x-axis. And this is where you can also manually adjust the cut to your, trick, to your tick mark. And then from there, the cutting program will automatically generate exactly how we've done in CompuCut.